guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing another three minute thriller review. This book came out a few years ago, but I think it's still a pretty popular book. So I think if you haven't read it yet, hopefully you'll find this video helpful. And I'm gonna be talking about The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. First, let's talk about what this book is about. So essentially it's a, about a woman named Lo and she works for a travel magazine as a writer. And as part of her job, she's basically given this really special perk of being able to go on this maiden voyage of this luxury cruise ship called the Aurora. And while she's on board, she witnesses some creepy stuff happen and basically the story unfolds from there. So what did I think about this book? Well, at the end of the day, I gave it four stars on Goodreads and I'll put all my Goodreads information down in the description box. I thought this book did well in a lot of different areas. I think number one, the pacing was amazing. I love Ruth Ware's writing style. I think she does well at establishing kind of a creepy atmosphere where Basically, another character of the book is the place itself. And I think this book really achieves that with the cruise ship, where the cruise ship kind of takes a bit of a life of its own, and you really feel like you are there in the story. And I loved that aspect of this book. I also really liked how there were a few different uh, time shifts so it went kind of back and forth between more of like a present and a future and ultimately i was i was at the edge of my seat i was surprised throughout the story i was really happy with it however there were a few things that i did feel like i did need to take off a star for at the end there was a bit of a a surprise that to be honest was not that surprising to me however it was written like it was supposed to be surprising so i feel like that kind of took a little bit away from me in terms of the twist. Also, there were a few things that happened earlier on in the book that I was expecting to be kind of tied in to the end. And I feel like the book could have been even better if there was some kind of closure for those things that happened earlier on in the book. And then the final thing that I didn't love is I feel like there were kind of a lot of characters in this book. I just feel like it's a little bit of extra work to actually read the book. So overall, I would definitely recommend this book. I think it was a really solid kind of whodunit kind of thriller, mystery. I would definitely recommend it. I don't think any of the negatives would be enough to sway my recommendation. So I hope you find this helpful. And for more three minute thriller reviews like this, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you later. Bye.